Blueface has been on Demon Time recently and has been starting beef with not only his baby mamas but with fellow rappers as well Soulja Boy Cardi B and El Choa. And Offset are just some of the few who have been caught in the crossfire of his wild Twitter rants the LA rapper hasn't been shy with. Holding back either as he's exposing anyone and everyone who even mentions him, but with all these fronts people have started to notice that something feels off about the way Blueface has been carrying himself. Elf lately not just fans but big name rappers have been quick to point out that Blueface has been getting away with all of his recent crimes because he's actually secretly involved with the feds these alleged rumors that have been recently circulating on the internet are claiming that Blueface has been untouchable for this long because of his secret involvement with law enforcement earlier this week. Blueface had a packed show at Gem Nightclub in downtown Salt Lake City. It was here where multiple V Ideas began going viral on social media, which showed the rapper bring a girl up on stage to then have her jump by his now fiance Jaden Alexis. The reason for him singling out one of his fans was allegedly because this said fan had thrown ice on stage to which Blueface claimed had hit him in the video. You can hear Blue tell the fan to come up on stage to then push her towards his security guards and Jaden Jaden was behind Blueface's security guards trying to make her way towards the fan the woman. Denied the allegations, but Blueface didn't believe her and turned to his security team and said, You know what to do. Yeah, Gitter the fans seemed confused and immediately fell to the floor once she was pushed. You don't want to right? Come on. Oh, you didn't know nothing? You don't only want to cut the ice? Come on. Come on up here. Don't be scared now. You know what to do? Yeah, yeah. We'll bring you Yeah, get her. This interaction brought up a lot of controversy as fans were quick to say that Blueface loves to bully women. It's a strange thing for a performer to do, especially towards one of his fans who paid their own hard-earned money to go see him perform, only to then later be targeted by the entire venue. Now whether she actually threw ice at Blueface is clear, but one thing's for sure, his way of handling the situation was definitely not appropriate as things could have easily escalated into a more unfortunate. On eight series of events, now this is plenty enough reason to have the rapper legally prosecuted, and we wouldn't be surprised to find out that there's a lawsuit in the works as we speak at first law enforcement made no mention of the incident which left many confused as to why since this was clearly an act of violence. It wasn't until a few days later when Salt Lake City's police department put out a statement that read the Salt Lake City Police Department is currently reviewing calls for service and I applicable police reports and the videos posted online to achieve a complete understanding of the incident and the circumstances no further information is available. For release some began pointing out that Blueface has been getting away with one too many crimes recently serious crimes that result. In no more than a slap on the wrist Soja Boy even began to question him during their argument on Twitter and Instagram where he insinuated that Blueface was actually a snitch that would have police what. Hiding on him had he confronted him in person now from one angle you can say that he was only talking smack because of all of the harsh things he was saying about his baby mom. Talking greasy? I don't, don't want to hear none of that. You took Hold it. Hold on. No, no, no. It. I don't want to hear none of that. No, nah, that's cool. All of that's cool. I just don't like how you playing a narrative that I'm taking it further than music. That's what you did. How? I said shout out to Soldier in the interview. You know what you did? You got on live. I'm a stick dick in her. I'm a stick dick in her. Here you go. Here we go. That's Where does that so, come that, about? That's what you want. So, 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 so that, so that hurt your feelings that bad? Nah, it didn't hurt my feelings. It just let me know what a nigga really on. And I already your baby mama. So the fact that you took it there, oh yeah, I already beat you. I already beat you to the punch. I already beat you to the punch. Right, so check it out. I already beat you to the punch. Check it out. Check it out. Right. Go ahead. Just wanna hop on here and pop it, right? Yeah. Why did you talk about old shit, bud? What's old about your BM? Suck. What is you, what is you, why are you talking about shit before she even met your baby mama the day before your baby shower? Yeah. Why is you on here, so you on here popping it like that? So, so, why did you see him the day before so, your baby so check shower? This out, check this out, so check so, this out, right? Up, what you want, my nigga, you want to cook? Now this hasn't been the only crime Blueface has recently been a part of if you factor in everything Blueface has been doing to Rock and his alleged newborn son.
It's surprising to know that he hasn't been prosecuted for a long list of crimes ranging from kidnapping, child endangerment, domestic abuse, and so on. No, my mouth, nigga. And Jay, that mouth, nigga. Lame ass, nigga. Watch your mouth when you speak it on me. Fuck, boy. Now, this could be because Rock hasn't taken the initiative to go and report him to the police. But what makes things weird is that they are both documenting everything on the internet. They're both clearly publicly documenting what many would label as abusive behavior that's being disguised under the... Entertainment Umbrella Rock has posted many videos to her Instagram where she's clearly saying that she fears for not only her own safety, but the safety of her child. It's crazy. My son ain't got no parent at four in the morning. Nobody want to watch him. She got Marsh. Oh she got Marsh watching the baby at four in the morning so she could what? Get some. Do a verse. Let me get in here, bro. All this so you could do a verse. You a bull. A child who Blueface has rejected as being his own after an alleged DNA test that was taken behind Rock's back. Whether this is true or not is unclear since all he posted as evidence was a tweet during his recent rant where he exposed Offset for cheating on Cardi B with Rock. That aside, the fans are questioning whether Rock is actually trapped by being unable to report him due to his gang affiliation or because of his rumored police affiliation. Some say it's a combination of both and that he has a deal which protects him from being prosecuted in exchange for feeding police information about others last November Blueface was involved in a shooting outside of a Las Vegas strip club where he was arrested on an attempted murder charge the judge later released him on a $50,000. Bail Blueface's lawyers waived his right to a preliminary hearing and told the judge he would plead guilty in district court to charge as a battery and discharging a firearm at an occupied structure. Marsh! It's like the word, bro! You got the baby, bro! Hello! Blue! Blue! Marsh! 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 Chill out, bruh. Marsh, do not argue with. Do I not argue with him, bruh? If he asks you a question, answer straight up. Stop being smart, bro. What? Is this a cop? No, just slow down. I can't slow down, Jay. I'm going 160, bro. No, I know, but. Oh my god, bro. Marsh. Bro, what the fuck is this bitch? Oh god. No, bro. The victim said he recognized Blueface, whose real name is Jonathan Porter, in the venue and had spoken with him earlier in the night. The victim said he made a joke about Porter speaking with some females in a cheap vehicle document said the victim was attempting to leave in his truck after the fight and stated the M males may have thought he was going for a gun and started shooting at him in his truck. The victim was then shot multiple times in his hand as he drove off he survived police arrested. Porter on a robbery charge as he was entering court detectives said he had stolen a fan's phone at the Palms Casino prosecutors agreed to dismiss the charge after Porter was sentenced in the shooting case as part of the deal blue face probation for as many as three years in which he is prohibited from possessing any weapons or using alcohol or drugs. The victim, who was identified as Contabus Trailer, was upset at the sentence the rapper seed saying he knows people who get more time for such. Tealing bubblegum and thinks the rapper was sentenced lightly due to his money and fame. While this may be true, it would be to no one's surprise that the real reason behind Blueface's light sentence is because of his alleged affiliation with the police the rappers he has recently stirred beef with have been surprisingly more lenient towards his antics and have avoided any sort of retaliation, many even emphasizing that he's a snitch and not worth pursuing. And there you guys have it, a quick summary. Of Blueface's recent scandals and his alleged involvement with the police, do you believe Blueface may actually be a snitch? Would this explain how he's getting away with all of these crimes? Or do you think this is mere coincidence and he's actually only doing all of this for entertainment, Letta? Know what you think down in the comments below and as always, thanks for watching.